Welcome back to the channel guys, Pad Card Scale Dreams. First off, I just want to show my appreciation for the support on the last video, uh, the likes, comments, views, subscribers, non-subscribers, I uh, appreciate you all. Uh, so, you're going to have to forgive me, I'm, I'm still getting over a cold, um, I think today's like day six or whatever, but uh, feeling a little better today slightly better today that I could come up and actually do some work on a, on a model on the USAC build specifically. Um, so basically I got the paint on the body last week and now it's time to kind of sand her down and, and, uh, see what I can bring up from underneath. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to take you on a little not really how to because I'm just this is the first time I've tried this method I've mentioned before but I'll, I'll show you a couple little things before I start so I sanded this down slightly though just really really light sanding I did go through in a couple spots um, but I think that looks really cool right along the edges you can see that green showing through but that's easy touch up this is going to go in the back of the the pickup, so I do want to touch these up. Excuse me. Um, so I do have a little bit of touch up on the interior. When I mask this off, it came off, but here's the running boards. So the uh, raw sienna come through a little bright. Because I did put it over the chrome or the steel. So I think next time I try this, I'm going to try steel, black, and then the raw sienna and burnt umber. Because it just looks a little too bright, but I think it looks still pr looks pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I've done the hood and the doors. So here's the hood. So I, I like the transition from the blue. Like here's the really nice, not nice, but you know what I mean. Um, kind of an untouched. Then it fades into the weathering, which I think looks pretty good. So there's that. Excuse me, the door, driver's door, and then the passenger door. I don't really like how that turned out, but uh, I'll live with it. I think my extra door turned out better than the better than this one. But yeah anyways I, i'm i'm good with it i think it looks cool so i'm gonna i'm gonna go with it and then the front this this part turned out pretty neat so yeah i think that looks gonna it's gonna look really cool um i'm liking the effect so far i'm not gonna weather this front piece because that's the piece that he's already kind of restored I guess you could say uh, so yeah that's where I'm at um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some water I just had a little break so I just wanted to come back and show where I'm at uh, and then I'm using 3000 micro pad and uh, so that's how I've done this so far and uh, so I'll, I'll do the cab on camera. I'll finish up everything else once I do the cab. And then we'll kind of a three-stage video or whatever. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute or two. And we'll sand this down together. Okay. 
Okay, we're back. I got some water and give this a little. I'm, us I'm using the piece that's really worn out. So I'm not going to, I don't even barely want to do too much because this comes off really easy. Just super light. So you can see that's come off real fast. Barely even touched it. You gotta check on this. Don't sand for too long without having a look. So next thing you know, you'll be right down to the plastic. With this, uh, these acrylics. So I've already went too much right there. I didn't want that much to come through. fine though okay so I'm probably gonna I'm sure this is kind of boring but see how fast that comes through there Yeah, that's looking good already. You can see some areas where I probably should have put more uh, undercoats on. Like on the corners and like around the door and whatnot. I didn't, I don't think I put any of that undercoating stuff there, but I should have. Like I said, I've never done this before. I like how it turned out on the other pieces, so. Um, so as you can see, that was just a couple minutes of sanding. So I'm going to get this part done and I'll unpause it. Okay, so I got most of the cab down here. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Pretty satisfied with that. Uh, I'll just do the top here on camera and then we'll be done. Then I can, I'll get it all back together and then we'll have a look at how it sees, how it sees, how it looks uh, mocked up. So it doesn't take long to get through down a layer. So I, I did do really light layers when I was putting these on. I just wanted enough for coverage. Um... Yeah, like I said, if I do this again, which I probably will now that I've kind of done it once and I can, I know what to do to replicate it, maybe to make it even a little bit better, like switching up my layers, uh, putting the silver at the bottom or the steel or whatever, um, 
whatever color you're going to use, steel, um, aluminum, whatever, what have you, uh, definitely should go to the bottom than the black because the black um, gives a good, a better base, I think, for the raw sienna and the burnt gum. So you can see that almost looks goldish. Um, over top the silver or the steel. So that would be the only thing I would change. But I really do like the effect. And I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks. Uh, this, t this side turned out a little bit better, I think. Because I did kind of mark up mark it up a little too much there. Uh, I could see a little bit of red here. But like, I mean, I barely even touched this and that came through. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together just to give it a quick mock-up. So you guys can see how the how it's gonna all look together. Okay, so I got her mocked together. So this is pretty much the finished result. I'm this is this is uh I'm not going to change anything on the body from here. I'm not going to put a clear on it. I'm just going to leave it flat like this. Some gloss. There's some spots that shine more than others that I didn't touch with the sanding. Um, so yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm, I think I'll put the white on here and then sand it out a little bit on the Ford. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. It's not 100% how I envisioned it, but um, pretty darn close. So yeah, I think it looks cool. I'd have liked this door to be a little more weathered, but I like how, how this door turned out. I think that would have looked a lot better. Uh, who knows, I could, because I still got to paint these anyway, the, the tubs. And I'm going to paint those like the can view can so I could potentially spray a little more like it wouldn't even take just a light light coat and then a light sand again would hmm we'll see but this of the overall look that's how it's gonna look so it's gonna stay for the most part pretty happy with the look I think it looks pretty cool. So let me know in the comments what do you think. Um, if you've ever tried anything like this or whatever. Maybe any tips or anything. Or or, or just comment cool or, or not. So I want to thanks, thank you for watching. And uh, talk to you all soon. Model on. Pat out. Thank you. Thank you very much.